The second very, very important part right now, everybody has a deficiency of B3 and B12. Okay, tell me, what is D3? D3 vitamin H, yeah. It's a fat soluble or it's a water soluble? Uh, about that? <laughs> fat soluble or water soluble? Fat soluble. Fat soluble, very nice. And uh, if it's fat soluble vitamin, how can you absorb that vitamin from the sun? Okay, tell me, uh, this vitamin comes from the sun or it's already in the body? A lot of people don't know that. It comes, I lecture in the AVM. 10 minutes sun bathing, it will consume, it will help you to absorb 10,000 international units. 10,000 IU means only 10 milligram international units. 1,000 1, international means 1 milligram. So it's not a very big amount which I'm talking about. But the thing is, a uh, lot of people say it's in the sun rays. It's in the body, but what is the reaction? It's nice. But what is the reaction? How it convert? How it become vitamin D3 from the sun? Sun bathing. That is interesting. That is. A, you see, if you go into the core of the thing, then you will come to know. It is very easy to understand the whole biomechanics of the body. But if we go superficially, vitamin D3 deficiency. Okay, vitamin. We will take a sachet. We will take this one. But why are we doing that? Why we have a deficiency at the first hand? That is very important to understand. Okay. Vitamin D3. What is it? What is the chemical reaction? Kya? When the sun rays hits to the skin, we have a cholesterol. Under this layer, cholesterol. All over cholesterol. It's a fat. It's very important fat. Cholesterol is not bad. Cholesterol is not bad. What I'm saying again, people say, have a high cholesterol. <laughs> Run for the medication. No, cholesterol is good. Cholesterol is a good fat. Our brain needs cholesterol, our skin needs cholesterol, our eye needs cholesterol, our internal organs need proper functioning cholesterol. It's a kind of fat, it's an important fat. Now, when the sun rays hits the skin, the cholesterol the reaction goes to the kidney and the liver. And that chemical reaction between the kidney and the liver makes D3. Through cholesterol, by sun rays, it is not in the sun rays. So, just focus on that. Now, through kidneys and liver. Under liver, we have a bile. B I L E. Bile. Bile is a detergent. Detergent. Now, listen carefully, it's a very important thing. These are important points. I'm not going to go too deep in science. Bile under the liver. Right hand side, under the rib cage, there is a liver. Under the liver is a bile. Bile is a detergent. Like a surf. Surf ko agar bottle mein dalo, hila ho, chhag ho jata hai. Is like a fat, the bile goes to the filtration and it comes from the fats to fatty acids. So all the vitamins A, D, E, K comes from that fat through the help of the bile and then goes into the bloodstream. That's how our fat soluble vitamins works. This is the process. But imagine if you have a liver problem and a bile problem. Then how you absorb? If somebody is drinking so much, okay, somebody is eating spicy food year by year, somebody is eating just oily food year by year, the liver is the liver, it will take a toll, right? So, what will happen then? That person, what will happen? The bile is not working, the liver is not working, of course, you will suffer from all the vitamin fat soluble vitamins because it's not going to absorb any body. So, first thing first, what do we have to do to cure that problem? To take care of first thing, what we have to do is take care of the liver. Now, each move, if you take step by step in your body, you will automatically see the problems will slow down or otherwise it will vanish in the course of time. But of course, you need a patience and you need a consistency. If we eat pizza in the breakfast, we eat bread butter and cereal. People are eating cereals back and forth. I don't know why they are eating cereals, I will tell you what will happen to you. Okay, now, poha, idli, dosa, sandwiches, pizza, all these things, toast, sandwiches or any kind of sandwiches. Uh, if you eat this kind of food year by year, what will happen to you? Well, actually, first thing I will tell you, your food is what? Sandwiches, cereals, and what are you getting? Refined, refined. Super, refined carbohydrates. And what it does? 
तो पता है रिफाइंड कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स बट व्हाट इट डस इंस्टेंट एनर्जी सुपर एंड देन आफ्टर दैट इंस्टेंट एनर्जी इज व्हाट सुपर नाउ यू गॉट अप इन द मॉर्निंग यू टुक द सीरियल और ऑरेंज जूस और ब्लैक वाटर राइट एज सुन एज यू फिनिश दिस थिंग यू फेल्ट वेरी गुड इन द ब्रेन बिकॉज़ शुगर लेवल स्पाइक्ड फॉर गुड ओके नाउ that time you feeling very good after that the pancreas will release the insulin to take up that sugar level, right what will happen that time the graph will go from here to here and that time what will you do when you go down you will add some more add some sugar no that time what you will feel sleepy fatty low uh, you can say the brain fog sluggish what do you have to eat to cure that not jumping that blood sugar to cure that jumping fruits no sugar has no <laughs> fruit has sugar but some fruits have very less sugar but the thing is we need to do first thing uh, no you will not be some very is that boy nuts nuts why nuts are heavy for the liver some people cannot digest nuts yes because they are heavy and you can't eat nuts in a breakfast That's for sure. It's low risk. High protein. High protein. High protein. Okay. Complex carbohydrate. High fat. High fat. Very good combination. Okay. Now we'll get fruits. Everybody said the answer, but when you mix all together, fruits. Fruits are good, sir. But the question is, what I'm trying to say? Fruits low glycemic index fruits. Now high glycemic index means what? Like bananas, uh, orange. Papaya. This we made at home. Papaya. Low glycemic index means all berries. Apple, pear, all these fruits are low glycemic. So now, if you have that kind of fruit, one egg fruit, let it. Is this the kind of apple? Can you get sugar with it? Right? Why does it behave? Right? Now, where are the proteins and fats? Sprouts are good. They are very good. In vegetarian, they are excellent. They are very good. Egg whites. Egg whites. Egg whites. Fantastic. Now, it's a very, uh, very interesting question here. What kind of eggs we are eating? Organic. हालत देखिए चिकन की हालत देखिए कभी हमने चिकन की पूरा हाल है मैं बता रहा हूँ हाँ जी इफ यू गेट इफ यू गारंटी गेट लाइक आई हैव सीन ये बॉटल्स ऑफ यू नो नो मिल्क का मैंने बॉटल्स देखा आजकल काफी प्राइड ऑफ सम काउ प्राइड ऑफ काउ 80 रुपीस पर लीटर वेरी नाइस मिल्क दे बट थिंग इज नाउ वी डोंट न It should be grass milk. Yeah. So okay, now tell me. I never use that milk because I don't use milk so much. I, once in a week, if I take it, otherwise I take maximum yogurt. I take one dairy product only uh, once in a week. Thank you, buddy. Excellent. Probiotics are very good. That's a different uh, subject. We are just going, but fantastic. Very good. I'll go back. I'll come back to that. Gluten from Atta. Today, we take which Atta use the gluten corn. कौन जो हम खाते हैं कौन के जो पॉपकॉर्न वगैरह क्या थे खाते हैं वो कैनोला ऑयल कैनोला ऑयल दीस फूड्स आर डेंजरस टू ईट एंड वन मोर थिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर वुमेन सोया सोया इज बैड सोया इज वेरी बैड सो प्लीज टेक केयर ऑफ आई डोंट नो हाउ यू फील आफ्टर ईटिंग दैट फर्मेंटेड फर्मेंटेड टोफू नॉट अनफर्मेंटेड देयर इज अ डिफरेंस सो सो जो टोफू आप बोल रहे हैं इट्स गुड Commented once, which is very rare. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <need. laughs> It's a kind of wild. Excuse me. <laughs> so I can check. That. Yes. Gluten. Just as you said, for milk, right? To taste. Similarly for eggs. They have these omega eggs. They have these, you know, uh, grass fed chicken eggs, etc. So is it like?
ना वेजिटेबल्स को तो नहीं छोड़ सकते सारी वेजिटेबल्स किस किस को चीज को छोड़ेंगे राइट सो व्हाट वी कैन डू वॉश योर वेजिटेबल्स थॉरली नमक के पानी में धो उसको एप्पल साइडर विनेगर डाल दो थोड़ा उसमें उसमें भी धो दो तीन बार धो उसको पानी से ताकि उसके केमिकल्स वगैरह निकल जाए व्हाट अबाउट पोटेशियम फॉर मैग्नीशियम पोटेशियम फॉर मैग्नीशियम फॉर मैग्नीशियम पोटेशियम फॉर मैग्नीशियम ओके मैं साले भी नॉट ऐसा करूंगा ताकि पोटेशियम इज गुड But production is why is good. Anybody can tell? It's an antiseptic. Why? It's an antiseptic. No. Production is relaxer. Production, one definition, one liner is a relaxer. It controls your blood pressure. First thing, sodium and potassium works teeter totter. Our cell, our body builds up of billions of cells, right? Heart, lung, etc. Now each cell, each cell has Four elements very very important. Ab likh lijiye four elements to survive: oxygen, water, sodium, and potassium. Potassium is the external part of the cell. Inner part is sodium. Right? So they have a pump to control the blood pressure. Okay? When you are in stress, when you are when you are not sleeping properly, when you are eating bad foods, when you are Doing too much exercise, when you're doing abusable things to the body, those times our potassium goes down. That is why our blood pressure goes up, our heart rate goes up. So each thing interconnected. And what is the best of life of potassium? Very good answer. Excellent. But why uh, banana? Or, yeah, no banana contains three hundred. Each banana contains three hundred. Milligrams of potassium. Our body needs forty-seven hundred milligrams of potassium. Why? And how many bananas do you consume? Twelve or ten? Every day. But it will also good. If one person today takes two bananas a day, that's two bananas. I am just telling you. See, question here is that misinformation is a lot. Very honest. Yeah, you said that instructor बताता है. That's very good thing you said right. But उन instructors को भी थोड़ा knowledge है. और हमको तो वैसी knowledge नहीं है. तो जो वो guide करेंगे वो हमको पता है, right? Now please write down this thing. Very very important and you will get your answer. Now each banana contains 300-400 milligrams of potassium. Very simple. Okay. Now we need 4700 milligrams of potassium, right? Everybody. Now how many bananas do you eat? Ten. Okay. Now. And though we can't eat, even if we eat, even if we eat, how much spike your insulin? Now get into deeper matter. See that? Now, ma'am, you have heard about this. When you eat banana, the glycemic index is high, right? It will increase your sugar. Right? Now, sugar will increase your insulin. If your insulin is high, the pancreas will increase. Right? So, how will Decrease the deficiency of that potassium. That has to be other way, right? Coconut water. When you were talking about that, you didn't hear me. Coconut water. Five to seven servings of green leafy vegetables. Green leafy vegetables will not spike your insulin. The first factor which will not abuse your pancreas and your blood pressure, your heart rate, your calmness of the central nervous system will be there. Always. Whatever you do. Because it will control your internal system, which is very very important. This is what they the word what the homeostasis, internal temperature. That is the pH scale. pH scale, what is it? Who knows? pH scale, who knows? Who knows? Acid, acid and alkaline, right? Right. So internal balance is our blood pH is seven point three four to seven point four five. Very narrow range. That balance brings you the best results. Got it now? So forty seven hundred milligram of potassium. Five to seven servings of vegetable. Now five to seven servings. It is not that much. If you have one, you have to take one cake or a juice. That is one serving. E3 supplements. E3 supplements. First thing first, what is the level of deficiency? If it is 5 or 10 or 12 range, then of course you have to take a shot. But if you are in 36 is still better. Then ten and five. I have people in the age of twenty-five. They have a five or ten. That's what I'm telling you. So if you are very low, of course you have to take a shot. There is no way out. I know. I know. Because I walk straight to work every day in the morning. Because I have to go to work. 
the sun and still has a Right. So we come back to the same question. She's saying, I have no person who's walking two hours in the sun still suffering from a D3 deficiency. As I told you, D3 is not in the sun, it's in our body. But the chemical reaction through the liver and bile and everything, it works through that absorption. Alright, so it's there's no shortcut. Remember one thing: 10 minutes, only 10 minutes, we need a reaction. We are not consuming from sun, it's in our body. 8 o'clock, best. Not hard rays, you know, it will not damage your uh, skin cells and everything. You, you, you will not feel hot, you will not feel sweaty. Just 10 minutes in the sun, super.